level six. Now, in this video, I'm going to try to answer majority of y'all's questions, the common ones, with the who, the what, the where, the when, the why, and most importantly, how. How did the elite, the elite empire, now called the elite, manage to get level six, right? The first one, who? Well, my union and I, the elite. However, I want to go deeper than just the elite and I. And I just want to give a small backstory on this. You know, why did we decide to go for level six? Well, in the first place, well, after spending a whole year and a half playing Hero Clash, you start to see patterns and eventually you accomplish everything in the game. And there's only a few things out there that aren't logically accomplish accomplishable. And level six is one of them. What we did is psychotic, 100%. So when it comes to who, back in March, my union and I decided to take a vote. And I'm pretty sure that vote was down the middle. Half were like, yay, half were like, no, nah, I don't want to do that, no way. And I said, hey, you know, let's just test the waters. Let's just do one week where we don't unlock sealed land and see how many points we can get just with our normal routines, right? And we ended up ending up three to 4,000 points shy of just the normal weekly maintenance of level five. And I remember one of my members, I think it was Gig, he said, hey, Trin, just so you know, we're going negative. <laughs> I was like, I know, man, I'm, I'm, I'm cooking up a plan. I'm cooking, I'm cooking, I'm cooking. And, and I thought, you know, it wouldn't be fair for me to be like, hey, guys, we need to play more Hero Clash. Hey, guys, we need to you know, spend more. That That's absolutely not fair. You know, you have your life, I have my life, and it wouldn't be fair for me to try to add to it, you know? So I thought, you know, I'll create a plan where all the elite members, all y'all have to do is just maintain 900 to 1,000 points a week. That's it. And when it comes to 900 a week times 28, you get 25 point. 2000 which is still seven almost 7000 shy over 7000 points shy of the weekly level 5 maintenance so knowing that i had to make that up plus some right so really quick i just want to give a big thank you to all of the elites in my union that stuck with me throughout this whole ordeal from March all the way until July. March, April, May, June, July. Almost five months it took. And again, I just have to say thank you to everyone who stuck with the elites, you know, being tested, you know, missing the 25K union dollar looking thingy where, you know, 22 people get 900 points a week. It was extremely rough. We missed probably over half of them. You know, there were some weeks we didn't even get the the Union treasure for Summit Clash because I'd be out eating a filet mignon. I'm like, oh, my God, I forgot. No, I forgot. My bad. It happened twice in like two months. I remember, too. It was the same restaurant, too. <laughs> so my bad, y'all, my bad. And, you know, the beauty about the struggle, you know, missing some of these rewards is it shows you who's loyal who's going to stick with you when you're at the bottom that's the beauty about struggle you know who's going to stick with you you know you have all these other unions and people trying to message them oh join us join us we're the best we're the best we spend the most oh cool boo -boo 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 -boo. cool to be tempted by them and still for my union not to leave then yeah, there was a few and i thank y'all for leaving it's awesome. You know, hopefully you're doing great because I know we're over here doing great. And I, I, I find it absolutely amazing of how many people stuck with Trinity Jax when it came to this goal, this achievement. And 
before we move on to the next what, where, when, why, how, I just want to say this. To everyone out there who thinks they know Trinity Jax, who sees some of these hate groups who are part of some of these hate groups, Trinity Jax doesn't have any enemies. I don't. Now what I mean by that is I don't have any enemies in my heart. I don't go out like hating on people or, you know, oh, you right there, you spend X amount, I hate you. Nah, man. Now, how someone else might feel about Trinity Jax, someone else might look at me and think, oh, I hate Trinity Jax. Cool, that's, you know, I pray for you. I hope you do better in life. At the end of the day, I'm with Hero Clash, and my goal is to make this game competitive. It's just that simple. Competitive and fun on both sides, the corporate side and the player side, right? So all the fake evidence out there talking about Trinity this, Trinity that, at the end of the day, I ask you this. If you believe a one-sided story and you haven't talked to me directly about anything that pops up, and if you believe that one-sided story based on fake evidence or a twisted perspective or, or missing the context, then you really need to question why. At the end of the day, Trinity GX provides content and a whole bunch of codes per month and a whole bunch of giveaways per month for the community. I believe that this is a very strong community and I believe this is a very good game. And I don't want to see it get flushed on the toilet because of mistakes from the devs or from individuals within the community that want to see the app burn. So when it comes to me communicating with anyone outside of Hero Clash, I treat it as I'm speaking on a mic in front of a whole crowd, right? Why? Because I represent Hero Clash. I am a Hero Clash partner. It's just that simple. And I say that to say this. Do you think Hero Clash would still be partnered with Trinity GX for a whole year, almost? In three days, if I was lying? I know. I understand 100%. So all the haters, you're just my biggest fans in disguise. Thank you. Now moving on to the what? Of course, the level 6 union. EA's first! Yo, fun fact about Hero Clash. Hero Clash doesn't know if there's any other EA unions. Well, let me rephrase that. Denise doesn't know. They don't have access. Dude, Hero Clash is weird, yo. Like, some parts aren't connected. It's, it's, I understand. It's like OPSEC and all that stuff, but, you know, it's like, I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. That one person can have access to everything and have so much power. <laughs> Okay, moving on to the where, obviously, Hero Clash and two phones. Yes, two phones. The when. Now, the Elite and I, we planned this in March, and it took full effect in April. And really quick, fun fact, this was actually supposed to be done in June when the server merge was going to happen, That the huge server merge. And I knew this, too. And I was talking to, I'm not going to say who, I was talking to someone, one of the presidents, and I said, hey, just so you know, one, there's going to be a server merge later this year. And two, he, he, you know, we went over the meta for summer 2024. And, well, here we are, and we were correct once again. So you know who you are, man. I love talking to you. It's fun. You know, great minds think alike, honestly. <laughs> now, going back to the when, we put the plan in full effect in April. And then when the servers merged, I was like, yo, we need to step up. I need to step up. And I actually doubled down June when this happened, right? But we'll get to that. Now, the main question, the second main question I'm going to get is, well, why? Trin, why level six? Why would you go for level six? It's absurd. And it is. It's psychotic. I love psyops. I love psychological warfare. And... I know that my mind is extremely strong. I love testing it. You know, when it comes to the military, when it comes to what I do in my personal life, when it comes to any achievement that I want to achieve, any milestone I want to accomplish, I do, right? And to answer the question of why, beat the system. And just to be the first to do it. It's just that simple. It's after breaking down the math, of a level six union 
it's unfathomable. It's improbable without going down the easy route where Hero Clash wants you to go down the easy route, just to break down the math. A level 6 standard is 1,400 points per person x 30 members, which is approximately 42,000. I think it is 42,000 points a week. However, you need 41.8 thousand for weekly maintenance. So as you can see, even if every member gets 1,400 points, you still can't unlock sealed land. 18,000 it cost. So, <laughs> Hero Clash, this is bonkers. The question is why? One, to be the first. Two, to pave the path. And three, to set the chessboard. The number one question I'm going to get is how? Trin, how, how is it so such a psychotic plan? What'd you do? How'd you do it? How, 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 how? Okay. Buckle up. <laughs> so, back in March, y'all already know, I didn't feel right asking my union to do extra. I think that's wrong. So I decided to take it on myself. Mainly towards the end of March, I seen how can my free to play account and my pay to play account work together to get the highest scores possible, obviously without spending hundreds and hundreds of extras of dollars, without going outside my normal routine of playing Hero Clash. So I took that math and I broke it down into multiple accounts, right? So in early to mid April, I created 20 free of play accounts or actually technically 18 because at the time it, there wasn't a server merge. So you can only have 20 accounts per union group server. Now, what does that mean? I believe at the time it was like, what, EA server 121 through 140 or something like that? And so you're only allowed to have 20 accounts in the server, right? You can only have one account per server. So that was 20. So for the first week, I had to get each free-to-play account eligible from beginning to a point in the game where you can join the union. That's step one. Step two was going from that union spot all the way to where you can unlock codes. So I think it's what, what, 5-1 or 5-3, 5-3 or whatever, something like that. I don't know. And then step three is taking to unlocking the achievement board, right? The achievement board will grant you approximately like 15, about 13 to 15,000 blue diamonds, right? And I knew this. To do it all in one takes about one hour per account. Yes. To do it takes about, if you know exactly what to do and you go fast, you can do it within one hour, right? So it began. I started rotating the accounts in. So we had 27 members and then the 28th was my free to play account, right? <laughs> and I would rotate them in in the morning and it would take approximately an hour and a half, right? And then you would wait until the next day, a server resets, and then you do it again, right? And I, w I did this for about a month, and then I did the math. And I was like, if I keep doing this for a month, based on the current progress, we're not going to finish till like August or September. I'm like, this is bonkers. So you know what? It's only taking me an hour and a half to knock out 20 accounts real fast, right? And when I say 20 accounts really fast, if you go over to your union and you click this coin thing up here, these are the only challenges I was doing, except for Tower of Fate. Tower of Fate takes approximately three minutes and five seconds to do, but you got to click your phone about a hundred freaking million times. And that was one of the issues. At the first week I was doing uh, Tower of Fate, but then I realized it's not a time thing. It's I don't want to click my phone a hundred times for 20 points. So if I can reduce the amount of clicks and increase the amount of points, that's the goal. So that, so that first week was absolutely miserable. So then I figured it out. So we're like, let me just cut that out. However, that three minutes I could put into a brand new account, you know, take an hour, put into a brand new account. And then it takes three minutes and 31 seconds per account on average, if you don't have any issues. 
and a fast phone to get through the account, get, to get through all of these, right? And I created a routine where it took three to four minutes, right? If you were really focused. So <laughs> after doing this, I did the math and I thought, dude, this is, this is, this is, this isn't going to happen, man. This, this is going to take until like August, September. And we have the server merge coming in June or July. I thought, you know what? We need to pick this up. So I decided to take my new iPhone that I used to record that, you know, that one right there. I was like, you know what? Why not? I got two phones <laughs> and I created 20 more accounts. Yes. So now we're sitting at about 40 accounts, right? And to maintain 40 accounts takes about just under four hours to do. However, it's a lot of clicking, right? And it's, it's psychotic. Just to put it in perspective, imagine doing your daily hero clash routine 40 times in a row. Then with 40 accounts, we're sitting in June, and then I remember so it was somebody on the Facebook Messenger, no, the Facebook page. They said, hey, Trin, are you ready for the merge? I'm like, oh, no. So I thought, yo, we got to step up, yo. So then we got to about 150, 160,000 points out of 217,000 points, something like that. <laughs> and I thought, when we hit this, we're going to have the weekly maintenance get deducted and we're going to fall right down to fall right back down to level 5. I thought no, we can't we cannot have this at all. Absolutely not. So then I thought, you know, you can't hit level 6, celebrate and then be back level 5 for 4 days. <laughs> Absolutely not. And I wasn't aware of what happens at level 6, so that's why. Which I'll explain at the end of the video. You know, and so I decided to create 20 more accounts called Warhawk. However, when it came to the Warhawk accounts, I used 11 scrolls just to get Chalkies on the new accounts to, to get the accounts up, right? So after the 11 scrolls were used, I think 10 or 11 scrolls were used, then I was able to save those scrolls. So each Warhog account, I have 1 through 21, but I only activated 15 because mathematically speaking, I only needed 15, right? So then I decided to rack those up over the weeks of June, right? So for those who, really quick, for those who were like, yo, Trid, why are you competing in any of these game modes? Why are you changing your Crucible lineup around? I didn't give a dang about the Crucible. I didn't care about anything PvP. I did not care. I'm sitting here burning four, five, six, seven, eight hours of Hero Clash a day. Including making five videos a week. I do not care about what's going on on PvP. I don't. <laughs> Like when they released the Arcana system, I'm like, oh, cool. We're almost at level six here, y'all. Oh, man. So, yeah. But anyways. <laughs> so I remember being, you know, creating the 21 Warhog accounts. And I ended up in one month racking up 300 to 400 purple scrolls per Warhog accounts. However, when it came to my channel and the code videos... The best month, I believe, was, I think it was like, I think it was May or June, where there's like 10 or 15 codes that still worked. So I was able to get 85 purple scrolls on all of these Warthog accounts. Yes, I think it was June, actually. Pretty sure it was June, and then like half of them expired, right? So that was a huge plus. <laughs> and I knew when it came to the grand finale, we, the, the final week, you know, when it came to that Sunday of the final week, we ended up getting to like 216,000 points. However, we didn't want to go over because we, we didn't know what happened. So we stopped at 216,000. We got deducted the 32K, right? I knew we needed the Warthog accounts. And the Warthog accounts would deliver approximately 300 points per account, which would average about 10,000 points a day. When it came to the other regular 40 free to play accounts, I ended up, I started saving the purple scrolls. So there would be a, a, a bigger boost, right? So then I ended up getting each account up to 40 to 50 in the month of June, right? Between all the codes and, you know, the weekly events where you get free purple scrolls. So I ended up getting 40 to 50 per account, right? Just to add to it. So that first Sunday going into Monday, we ended up getting 12,000 to 13,000 union points. And then on, you know, Monday night going into Tuesday, we ended up breaking 200,000. 
like a half day or pro- almost a whole day earlier than than I uh, calculated because of the quarterly event. Oh, dude, the quarterly event was money. Yo, Hero Class, the timing couldn't have been any better. That quarterly event gave so many purple scrolls, and it's still going on too. It gave so many purple scrolls plus all the codes. Oh my goodness. It, that's where that extra couple thousand came from too, where my math was off. <laughs> so, you know, moving on to that Tuesday night, we ended up getting, you know, 212,000. Like, oh, yo, we're so close. Wednesday is it. And then I ended up getting to 217,600, and that's when I started to record the video. And I believe that was on a Wednesday night. And so now y'all know where I was at, what I was doing for the longest time with Hero Clash. And and I still tried to reply to you guys. I still tried to help out the community when it came to lineups and you know just Hero Clash knowledge. So it wasn't easy. And it's man. Oh man, level seven. At first it was 20 accounts and then it turned into 40 accounts, I think like a month later or whatever. And then the Warthog accounts came and I'm pretty sure it came, definitely came in June. I'm pretty sure it was like the first week of June or something. And then, yeah, you know, I maintained all those accounts and I know it's crazy. I know it's psychotic, but you know, I wanted my union to be the first to do it. I wanted my union to be the first in the EA, first in my server range to crush level six. And to answer one's question, how do you do it from a free to play perspective? It's actually very, very simple. You can you have two factors. You can either create more accounts and flush them in, or you just extend the deadline to your goal. When do you want to accomplish level six? All while never activating sealed land. Sealed land you cannot activate even from a pay to play perspective unless you have 28 vip 17s thank you for the support but it, it still it's yeah at the end of the day we're the first to do it the elites and i'm proud of my union you guys are the best and I thank you for all the support. You know, I know it was hard. We missed a couple summit treasures. We missed over half of the 25k union coin thingy. And I know we would absolutely get slaughtered in some game modes. And you still stuck with the elite. And I just want to say thank you again. Because to be at the bottom will only show who is loyal, who is faithful, right? Who is truly a team member? Because if you're always at the top, everyone's going to flock to the top. Everybody wants to do that. But it takes a true elite member, a true supporter, a true believer to be with you at the bottom of the barrel. That's manifesting greatness. Thank you. Hey!